أشهد أن محمدا رسول الله أشهد أن محمدا رسول الله أي على الصلاة أي على الصلاة أي على الصلاة أي على الصلاة الله أكبر أمس والله يكفيك الله أمس أمس والله فعلا I'm hurrying as fast as I can. Biff Baker. Oh, honey, now why don't you go out and do what you want and I'll stay right here. Mm -mm. You're going with me, darling. Oh, but Louise. Of course, if you prefer, I, I could go with that good-looking Englishman we met last night. Johnny Forrester? Uh-huh. <laughs> Mr. Forrester said he'd be delighted to take me on a personally conducted tour of Cairo. Madam, Forrester's a cad and a liar. He checked out of the hotel an hour after we met him. He did. A dragoman paid his hotel bill and took his bags to the airport. Well, that's odd. He seemed like such a nice man, not the vanishing type at all. Uh-uh, wishful thinking. Forrester was probably a remittance man and a black marketeer to boot. Honey, you're just jealous because you didn't win a letter at cricket, too. No, what's cricket? Oh. Hey, that's not <laughs> cricket. <laughs> Come on, get your shoes on. All right. Oh, since Mr. Forrester's not here, you're stuck. Okay, honey. Do you still insist on traipsing out to that island? Well, I certainly do. Biff, do you realize that according to legend, Pharaoh's daughter found Moses in the bulrushes on the island of Rhoda? Oh, but that was a long time ago. Honey, believe me, you won't find a thing. Well, I don't care. Anyway, the island of Rhoda's on our schedule for tomorrow. Today, we're going shopping in Mooski's Bazaar. Oh, thank you. What is it, honey? Cablegram, Biff. Oh? Who from? from your New York office. Biff Baker, Fiam Hotel, Cairo. Export shipment, 12 two-ton trucks made to Khartoum Mining Corporation, Anglo-Egyptian Sudan, stop. One truck reported missing, stop. Contact broker, Shihab Hussein, Cairo, and report. Now, how could anybody misplace a two-ton truck? Where's the phone book, honey? On the desk. Yeah. Biff, you're not gonna make an appointment to see Mr. Hussein now, are you? Honey, business is business. See who it is, will you? Mm -mm. It's your turn this time. I gotta powder my nose. Well, Shorty, who are you? Mohammed Mahmoud Ilmenya Jr., Dragoman, sir, at your service. You're kind of a squirt to be a dragoman, aren't you? In all of Islam, there is no dragoman who knows Al-Qahira better than Muhammad Mahmoud Ilmenya. Yeah, Junior, yeah, that's swell, Junior, but it just so happens I'm not in the market for a dragoman. 
But the Fendi. Hello, Junior. Darling, I forgot to tell you, but I hired Junior as our guide yesterday. Well, dear, this isn't my first trip to Cairo. What do we need a guide for? I don't know, but Junior persuaded me that we needed him. Fendi, I speak English good? Good enough. Also, I speak Spanish, French, a little Hindustani. I will be not only your guide, but your interpreter and bodyguard. Bodyguard? Also, I have no swords on my head. Well, I think that's a very good recommendation. Also, my price is cheap. Only 40 piastres a day. Well, it's cheap enough, all right. Also, I do not find you to agreement. Should you value my services, you may pay me 50 piastres a day. Well, that's very decent of you, Junior, for giving me the opportunity. Okay, you're hired. <laughs> you mean I can serve you? <laughs> and although our association will be brief, I'm sure it will be very pleasant. Junior? Inshallah. All right, my little man. You know a man named Shahab Hussein? Shahab Hussein. But of course, Effendi. He has office in Bula Quarter. The waterfront? Yes, Effendi. That's the one, all right. Okay, lead the way. Bodyguard. I believe our records will show that only 11 trucks were delivered to our warehouse, Mr. Victor. We will know, of course, as soon as my assistant returns. Well, there's been a mistake made somewhere, Mr. Hussein, and personally, I'm convinced it wasn't made in our New York office. Perhaps you are right. I must confess it is not unusual for imported equipment to go astray in the Cairo waterfront. You are ready for more coffee, Mrs. Baker? No, thank you. Mr. Baker? No, thank you. Oh! Do not touch anything? Yes, Hawaga. Junior, maybe you'd better wait outside for us. Boy, is your dragoman? Yes, he's quite a boy. <laughs> he's a sly one. Be careful. He will steal what he can. I don't believe Junior is a thief, Mr. Hussein. As a matter of fact, he has a great deal of character. Ah, uh, thank you, Hassan. Now here are the reports, Mr. Baker. Ah, and what is more important, the receipt signed by the official registrar of the port of entry at Cairo. And you see. Only 11 two-ton trucks delivered. Well, your records seem to be in order, Mr. Hussein, which leads me to believe that the truck must have been stolen off the ship itself, either Algiers or Tripoli or possibly Alexandria. Now, Mr. Baker, I suggest we may need the police on this. I would deem it an honor if you would permit me to investigate this matter for you. Well, I'd appreciate that, but I'd like to get the ball rolling right away. I will call at your hotel in the morning. Okay, if you're sure you don't mind. Not at all. Thanks very much for your trouble. Ah. Masalam. Goodbye, Mr. Hussein. Goodbye. Bye. You heard? That American comes at an awkward moment. We must make sure he does not go to the police. Follow him. Are we ready to move tonight? We can be. Call the others. Tell them to meet here at 10. Behave. Darling, what are we going to do about small fry? It's getting to be a problem, all right. Junior, you've been admiring this lighter all day. Now, what would you do to own it? I'd give the skin off my right elbow and my left eye. No sale. Look, all I'm asking you to do is behave like a little gentleman. All right? Here, catch. <laughs> oh, Fendi! Thank you! Look at this brocade. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, it's very pretty, but what do we need with brocade? Silly, you don't buy things like this because you need it. How much? For such a cloth from Isfahan, man. Observe, please, the Persian leaf. 
woven of the reddest silk, with thread of purest gold. They are things of which one may not speak, except in whispers, and this is one of them. Oh, madam, as I praise the name of Allah, the Almighty. Could you just kindly tell me the price? The price, madam? The cost in soiled and insignificant piastres? <laughs> A mere two hundred. Two hundred piastres? Offend him. I'm a pauper among the poorest of men. My path is beset with pitfalls. With every step I take, the darkness increases. Things are getting tough all over. Do not pay the old man one piastre more than seventy-nine. You're absolutely right, Junior. That's a very fair price. Seventy-nine piastres? For a poor man's treasure? Will you ruin one so old and feeble and helpless? Oh, Allah, how unfortunate I am. How miserable. Oh, now, honey, let's not make this poor man suffer any longer. Let him keep his brocade. So, so it for 79 piastres. Oh. Effendi. Hmm? We are being followed. Followed by whom? Nice eye, Junior. You'll soon find out. You stay here with Mrs. Baker. But this... Now, honey, don't worry about it. Now, what's this all about? Why am I being followed? All right, honey, now don't get all upset. Junior! Hey, Junior! Biff, why is he running away? And who was that man? What happened? I don't know, honey. I haven't figured it out yet. But Biff, I simply cannot understand why Junior ran away. Well, you know what Hussein said. But why would Junior give up a job that pays him 50 piastres a day just to steal a knife? Look, honey, you're not going to ask me to explain the workings of Mohammed Mahoud El Minya Junior's mind, are you? I'm just the same. I think you ought to report what happened to the police. Report what? The pickpocket followed me through a crowded bazaar? Well, they'd laugh in my face. But the man tried to kill you. Well, sure, after I jumped him. Look, honey, will you stop worrying about what happened this afternoon? Well, I guess you're right. It's silly to keep brooding about it. Now you're talking sense. Come on, let's hit the sack. Okay. Good night, dear. Good night. It's the knife the Egyptian threw at me. You see the marking of the green scarab? It is the sign of the Nazim Gadid. Oh, what's the Nazim Gadid? A secret organization that makes trouble. Much trouble. Their hideout is in the ground beneath the holy mosque. What's this got to do with us? I follow the big Egyptian to the holy mosque of El Qaim. I am trapped by patrol guard. But I learned something. What? It is the Nazim Gadid who has stolen your truck. I have seen the truck. I know they will kill you if you try to get it back. Effendi, I swear by Allah, I never tell you untruth. No, I don't think you would. After all, you did save my life today. Biff, what are you going to do? I'm going to call the police. The showers? No! Now, wait a minute, Junior. If I leave you to hide out of the Nazim to eat. But the showers. I hate the showers. But, Junior, he must call the police. It would be very dangerous for the two of you to go there alone. There is no danger. I promise. I'll show you the stolen truck. 
Then if you wish, you leave the Shah wish to the Natsim Khadid. But supposing I should decide my plan is better than yours? Then I go. All right, wait a minute, Junior. I know you think to call the Shawish. I know, too, you think my plan is better and come with me. So I bring you Kaftan to disguise yourself like true believer. Hey, where'd you get that? Effendi, we go quick. All right, Junior, you win. Operator. Operator. Operator, this is an emergency. I, I must find a man named Shihab Hussein. That's H-U-E-S-S-I-N. Now, I have no idea where he lives, but I, I do know that he is a customs broker, and he has an office on the waterfront. Yeah, all right. And then when we leave the city, we will go directly south into the desert. I'll... Hello. Who? Oh, yes, Mrs. Baker. Mr. Hussein, I'm sorry to bother you, but it's about the truck we lost. My husband's found it. Or, that is, he thinks he has. Found it? Where? In a mosque. The mosque of El Kiham. He's gone there now with our guide. I see. Leave everything to me, Mrs. Baker. I will go to the mosque immediately. You stay where you are. But I can't just sit here and, and wait. Look, I'll go with you. Very well. Take a car. I will meet you at the mosque. All right. And shall I call the police? I will bring the police with me. Oh, and Mrs. Baker, do not talk to anyone. These thieves may have someone watching you. I understand, Mr. Hussein. I, I won't say a word. All right. Goodbye. in on this. accomplish anything with that, Mr. Baker. Drop it. Drop it. Biff! Biff, I was so worried I called Mr. Hussein and he told me he'd bring the police with him. And Hussein turns out to be the head of the Mazim Gadid, a terrorist gang. Terrorist? No, Mr. Baker. Translated Nazim Gadid means simply new system. We are its peace-loving supporters. Biff, this is all my fault. Oh, please. Baker! Forrester, what are you doing here? I was tracking down this dynamite. They stole it from one of our depots. Tracking? Your depots? It's British military intelligence. He's in readiness, Hussein. Good thing. Get on.
What's the Nazim Gadid's target for tonight, you say? Some public building? Or a larger operation like the Suez Canal? Drop that canvas. We're going south. Is it the dam at Aswan? Or the new power project? Just never learn, do you? The violence and bloodshed doesn't solve anything. We think one way, Mr. Baker. You think another. And ultimately, you'll bring about your own destruction. We are not afraid to die for what we believe. Are you? I knew what I was doing when I went after the Nazim Gadid, but Mr. and Mrs. Baker just stumbled into this. You suggest I spared their lives? <laughs> Surely, Mr. Forrester, you don't expect me to believe they would not go to the police with all they know? Walk, please. Thee do we worship, and of thee do we beg assistance. W.A. Skyliner, flight 919, star of Detroit for Paris, now boarding at Concourse... Well, this is goodbye, Junior. Four. It's been a pleasure knowing you. Aboard for flight 919. Come, Bendy! What are you going to do with all those piastres? First I buy me a cotton of silk, then I buy a coat of brocade and the rest, I save for a day of rain. <laughs> I think that's a very good idea, Junior. TWA Skyliner, flight 919, star of Detroit for Paris, now boarding at concourse gate number four. All aboard for flight 919, please. Effendi, Mohammed Mahmoud Ilmania Jr., Dragoman, sir, at your service. What a character. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.